welcome back to my bedroom in Brooklyn. Um, I'm really excited because today I'm making my first ever favorites video. Maybe you've seen I made a couple unboxing videos and it was so fun and I watch YouTube videos all the time and I'm always seeing these awesome YouTubers make favorites videos and I thought that I would try it. So I'm so excited um, to show you some of the products I'm obsessed with right now. I'm going to tell you about Coda Lee Eau de Beauté. I discovered this product really recently. I've always heard a lot of makeup artists talk about it and the founder of Coda Lee came to our office and spoke and it was really inspiring and um, I got really interested in Coda Lee products and when I was traveling recently in Colombia, I took all the products that I thought might be really good for hot weather and that's where I totally fell in love with this guy. No matter where you are, when you want to feel really moisturized, you spray it on your face and it really like holds in the moisture from your moisturizer, but also if it's a hot day or like you've been lying in the sun at the beach, like nothing feels more refreshing than spraying this. It smells really fresh. I love it. Um, you can keep it in your purse. So I really recommend this. Um, I got it from Birchbox. Obviously, I got all these products from Birchbox and I love it so much. The next product I'm going to tell you about is actually a pair. This is the moisturizing line from Derma E. So I actually have been using a different Derma E day cream that had SPF in it for a while and I really liked it. I think there's going to be a theme in this video because a couple weeks I got back from a trip to Colombia and it was so hot and it was so sunny that it like had a pretty big impact on like my makeup and skincare and I learned a couple new things. Anyways, I got back from that trip and my skin was really, really dry. Even though I wore lots of SPF and I didn't burn, it was really dry. And I was asking around at the office like what products were great for dry skin and someone recommended to try the Derma E um, hydration line. I have totally fallen in love with this pair of products. I wish that you could smell this like through the camera. Something about, I almost just like gave it to you to smell. Like I don't know what's wrong with me. Something about this, the way it smells, like one day I'm gonna realize what it is, it reminds me of something. I just like can't get enough of it. It's like not perfumey, it's really fresh, but it smells great. And Derma E are um, all natural products. So to have natural products that also smell really great is something really hard to find. I also tried the cleanser and I really love it. It's really gentle, it really gets your makeup off. I alternate it with a scrub. Um, and it also smells great. You know, all of the these products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, eco-friendly, um, so I love that, and I really recommend these if you're really trying to hydrate your skin. Next on my list of products I'm obsessed with right now, my June favorites is the um, K-Spray, K-Spray Aporte from Kerastase. I know beachy sprays and mermaid waves and sea salt sprays are like really in right now, and maybe people are like not buying into the hype, but like let me tell you, this product is incredible. So right now my hair is like wanded, but actually I have really curly hair. And I think the time that my hair looks the best is when I get out of the pool or the ocean, I lay down in the sun, and I just let my hair totally um, dry by the sun. That's my favorite way of my hair. But sometimes it does get like a little frizzier. There's flyaways, and that's where a spray like this can come in like amazing, because you just like spray it, um, and it keeps the curl and the wave and like makes it look like messy and awesome But like kind of gets rid of a little bit of like the flyaways It's also great like if I let my hair just air dry from the shower um, And then I just want to like add a little like oomph to it Like that's what I think that this product does it smells great um, I also have like a little sample size that I take in my beach egg when I'm going to the beach I love this if you're looking to try a sea salt spray. Um, I really really recommend this one from Kerasauce I love it so much the next product that I'm going Going to tell you about is the Well People Expressionist Bio Extreme Mascara. I'm really excited to tell you about Well People. I didn't know about Well People until um, earlier this year. It sort of like took Birchbox by storm. These products are all natural. Their founders came to speak at Birchbox. I sat in on a Birchbox University where we learned about um, Well People. And what I really love about their products is they're really um, effective makeup. I love their makeup products, but they're also totally natural. And the founder said something that I thought was so interesting, which is we all pay so close attention to what we eat and we're all eating like kale and quinoa and green smoothies and paying so much attention to what we put into our body, but sometimes we don't pay as much attention to what we put on our body and it really got me thinking like I don't really think about it that much with my makeup so I was really excited to try these products and then it just turned out they were so great like put all the natural stuff aside if someone had just handed me this mascara I would have been really excited about it it goes on really really smooth it's totally black um, but it's also like easy to wash off which is a problem I have with a lot of mascaras I would say these are like 
shorter bristles it's more of like a volumizing mascara it's so easy to apply it's never chunky it's easy to get off it's jet black um i i just i love this mascara from well people next is um my new favorite black eyeliner it's from cynthia rowley i know that a lot of people have um sampled cynthia rowley in their birch boxes the lip stain and some of the colored eyeliners and maybe even this black eyeliner or there's also um, a liquid liner that people really love. I'm a pencil girl. I, I don't really use gel liners or um, or liquid liners. I, I love pencils because I like to be able to smudge them a little bit. What's really a pet peeve of mine is when you go to sharpen your favorite eyeliner and it like breaks and like the end gets all messed up. Like I can't stand that. So what I really love about this Cynthia Rowley is the way um, the way that the um, end is. So it's really, really easy to sharpen. It's almost like the pencil is in a bit from like the wooden part of the pencil. So smooth, so black, like makes like such a nice clean line. Um, I love it. I've been wearing it every day since um, I got it. And it's like nice and long, so it lasts a long time. Um, plus, I think the Cynthia Rowley packaging is like really beautiful, um, which I love. Everybody like loves pretty packaging. So I really recommend that you try this black liner from her if you haven't tried it yet. The next product on my list of June favorites, um, it's actually so beloved by me that if you look at it closely, you can see that like the, uh, the writing is like wearing off a little bit. So this is um, an eyebrow pencil from Sumita. So if you saw my... Um, eyebrow threading video that's um, up on YouTube for Birchbox. You'll know that I'm like really into eyebrows. I think that they're really important. Um, you have to be so careful because if you like over pluck or over wax or over thread, like sometimes they might not grow back in. And I just think having great eyebrows can totally change your face. Um, but of course, just like everyone else, I have like spots in my eyebrows that um, like don't grow in as much and so I have to color them in. I'm try to get up close so you can, maybe you can spot some of those spots. And so what I love about this is that um, it's actually a twist. It's like a metal applicator and it twists up. Um, and so this is actually um, a dark brown. It's pigmented, but it's not, you sort of do have to press to like get the color out. Um, and I actually prefer that for eyebrow pencils because if you go to color in your eyebrows and too much comes out at a time, you have like a dark spot. And then you have to go get like your eyebrow brush and you're like trying to color them in. So I like it that you have to be a little bit deliberate. It lasts for such a long time. I've been using it um, for months. And like I said, you can see that the writing's like wearing off because I like love it so much. Um, so I really recommend it if you prefer pencils for coloring in your eyebrows. The um, final product that I'm gonna tell you about is um, Atelier Cologne Silver Iris. So this is my new favorite perfume it's like my first ever perfume that I went and like smelled several perfumes and actually like picked one that I thought was good for me the ones I had worn in the past were always like a friend had it and I liked it so I would also buy it or um my grandmother always wore Yves Saint Laurent Paris which I thought smelled really beautiful so I bought it but I had never sort of like gone out and like smelled my own perfumes and so we actually shot a Birchbox video at the Atelier Cologne store in Brooklyn um or near my house and that's how I found this and I just I totally fell in love with the scent. Um, I, it's just like, to me, it's it smells like iris, it smells like so beautiful, but it's like not too heavy. There's not a ton of other people wearing this. Atelier is really popular, but it's not like so mass that like you walk down the street and people are like, oh, I know what she's wearing. They make these great um, travel size um, perfumes and you can fill them with um, whatever type of perfume you want from their shop and they'll actually um, engrave it for you. So mine says OMG RJS um, and it's three ounces so I can take it when I travel, which is really great. We sell this scent and like many others in the Birchbox shop, they have like such an interesting story. They're a French brand. Um, and if you're ever in New York, I really recommend going to their store. It's so beautiful and you can get these cute little cases, which obviously I'm obsessed with. These are um, some of the products that I um, am obsessed with right now. These are like some of my go-tos. Um, sample size is always in my makeup bag, things that I'm packing all the time when I travel. Um, so I just wanted to share them with you guys. They're all from Birchbox. You can ask me questions in the comments, check them out in the Birchbox shop. But what I'd really love is to see your Birchbox favorite videos. So um, maybe you discovered some samples in your monthly Birchbox that you fell in love with or something from our magazine or our shop. Um, I wanna see everyone else's Birchbox favorite videos. So um, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Uh, that's it, bye.